Do it again. Hi, my name is Brad Spencer, and this is my Jesus story. I was born and grew up on the northern beaches, so I've been here my whole life. Um, my mum and dad, and two older sisters who are now moved out of home. Uh, one of my biggest passions is music, so I play guitar for six years now, and I sing a little bit. So I grew up in a Christian family household, so we've got like, stacks of Bibles at home. Uh, my whole family is Christian. I've been going to church since I was a little kid, went to kids' clubs and Sunday clubs and all that. But um. As I moved through primary school, I didn't have stacks of friends at all well, these kids' clubs on Friday afternoons. So I actually got to a point where I stopped going. I need rest, I need relief, I look to you, and you teach me to. So around year six, I started going back to, to, to church. The year six youth group called Gromits. I met Jake, who was my leader. And he was into metal, so we, we hit it off pretty quickly. Um, yeah, on Sunday nights, my sisters started going uh, started going to Sunday night church, and there was no one home to annoy, so I went to. Um, yeah, it was around year six or seven that I started making a real commitment to Jesus. So looking back retrospectively, I realized that over the past few years, I felt really alone. Um, even in my family, like my parents have each other and my sisters had each other, so. Yeah, that really sort of made me feel isolated. Yeah, even my family. Um, after a string of destructive relationships that never worked out, I developed a whole bunch of trust issues which make it really hard to um, develop new relationships and yeah, make me heaps tempted to keep people at arm's length. So when I started my, my Christian walk, I had a view that Christians were sort of just people who did nice and good things and were good people. And I felt like I wasn't really living that out very well. So my sin really hit me hard and made me feel really alone and distant from God. Um, yeah, more recently I had, I had some bad anxiety attacks which made me feel really insecure and feel isolated inside. about Christianity is that um, Jesus understands my loneliness so he was betrayed by Judas and then denied by Peter and then deserted by his disciples so and then even at the cross we can see just how alone Jesus was yeah at the cross Jesus dealt with all my sin and my anxiety all my loneliness so I wouldn't have to feel distant God. Um, yeah, by the blood of Jesus, the, the divide between me and God has been bridged. Uh, yeah, there were even points where I, I felt like, like running away from Jesus. And, uh, a couple of times I did try to, but I've got a friend who keeps quoting um, Hebrews 13:5, "I will never leave you or forsake you." So God's always with me, and He's not going to let me run away. He's not going to. He's not going to let go. I still struggle with loneliness and anxiety. I don't have it all together. Um, my sister recently introduced me to a song by King's Kaleidoscope. Which opens with, I've been anxious, I can't sleep, and worthless worries burden me. And the chorus, the chorus says, um, to seek a kingdom and seek a righteousness, which is from the Sermon on the Mount. And it really just reminds me that, um, yeah, even when I'm feeling anxious, to to seek the kingdom and to seek God's righteousness. 
So yeah, I aim to just keep trusting Jesus no matter what happens.